I'm going to do example number two from textbook. In this question, you can see there is a figure given here and uh, they say that AB is the diameter of the circle. So this is AB and that is given the diameter of the circle. Further, it says CD is a chord which is equal to the radius of the circle. So you can see CD is a chord which is equal to the radius of the circle. This is very important to remember that in a question involving circle, Whenever this chord is given equal to the radius of the circle, always make sure that you are going to use a property of equilateral triangle. That means it has to be an equilateral triangle by default. Now, further in the question, it says that AC and BD are extended. As I can see, AC is extended and BD is also extended to meet at point E. What we have to prove is that this angle A EB is 60 degree. Now, the, uh, the question involves some construction and the construction which you have to remember in the exam that uh, we will be joining these also. That means uh, we'll be joining this uh, O with C, O with D and most important that is C with B. Now, here we are going to use the property of alternate segment to uh, solve it. But before that, first we need to Prove this triangle, which I said in the beginning only, that is this triangle, which is COD, is an equilateral triangle. And why it's an equilateral triangle, as you can see here, the one of the chord, which is CD here, is given equal to the radius of the circle. So it becomes an equilateral triangle. Now, once this is an equilateral triangle, we can write this angle as 60 degree, that is angle COD as in an equilateral triangle, each angle is 60 degree. Now, after that, I'm going to use this property called alternate segment. That means the angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by it on the remaining part of the circle. Now, check here, this arc, I'm talking about the arc here, that is uh, CD. This arc CD is making an angle at the center and that is equal to 60 degree. The same arc CD, as you can see, two rays lines are arising, one from C, another from D. The same arc CD is also subtending an angle on the remaining part of the circle, that is at B. If you watch carefully, you'll see that this arc CD is making an angle at point B, right? So therefore this angle will be 30 degree from the property that alternate segment. So I can write this angle, this angle as 30 degree. Now the next property which I'm going to use that is angle in a semicircle. So angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Now, how do we know which is a semicircle? It's the angle which is made from the, subtended by the diameter. So clearly you can see that this diameter is subtending an angle at C, at C. So this angle will be 90 degree. That means this angle called ACB. ACB will be 90 degree and that is angle in a semicircle. If this angle is 90 degree, by linear pair, you can write this angle also as 90 degree. Now consider just this triangle, the one which I'm shedding. Look into this triangle. Here now we actually have calculated two angles. Right. We know the value of two angles. One is 30, that is this angle ABE. One angle is 30 degree AEB, and this is 90. So from the property, that is angle sum property, we can find the third angle, that is AEB, and this will come as 180 minus sum of these two, that is 120 is equal to 60 degree. So this is what we have to do in this question. Let's say uh, we do it with showing the proper working of this question. In the first part, we'll be writing that uh, here, that is a o, uh, CD is the diameter. CD is the diameter, which is given equal to the radii. That is the radii here is OC and OD, right? OC is equal to OD, and this is a part of the given. Now, therefore, we can say this is an equilateral triangle, that is triangle COD is an equilateral triangle. And, you know, each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. So I'll be writing angle COD is equal to 60 degree. Further, 
as I said, angle E, or you may write simply as of now, that is angle C, P, D is equal to 30 degree, and we're using this property called alternate segment, right? You may simply write alternate segment from this property. Later, uh, say if I mark this as equation one, we know that AB is the diameter, therefore angle A, C, B is equal to 90 degree. And the reason is angle in a semicircle, right? That's the reason you are going to write, that is angle in a semicircle. Now you can apply linear pair and you can calculate angle E, C, B as 180 minus 90, that is equal to 90 degree as from linear pair. This is what we got as equation two. So we we have got the two angles of this triangle and now see how can we get the third angle here. As we have uh, already uh, dis discussed in the beginning that we are going to use angle sum property, in this triangle. So we'll be writing that is in triangle. We have in triangle that is uh, C E B, we know the value of two angles, so we can get the third angle. So I'll be writing here angle ECP plus angle EPC plus the angle which we have to get that is angle AEB is equal to 180 degree that is equal to 180 degree. Now we know the value of this angle as 90, already calculated from the second part. We know the value of this angle, that is from here, right, CBD is same as EBD, EB, sorry. This is CB, CBD is same as CBE. So this is uh, 30 degree and we have to get angle AEB. So we'll be writing plus angle AEB which is what we have to get here, is equal to 180 degree. That is from angle sum property. Now, we can get angle AEB by transposing these two angles. AEB, now we'll be calculating as, this is 180 minus the sum of these two angles as 120. So it comes out to be 60 degree. So this is what we had to find, that is angle AEB as, 60 degree and that we got.